Hello and welcome to Miss Han Loves Grammar. In this video, I'll be giving you an introduction in response to the question, what is a tense? So it isn't a tent somewhere you might sleep when you're going outdoors. No, and it isn't also people who are quite stressed with each other and maybe arguing and creating tension. Instead, a tense shows us when something is happening. Verbs come in a number of different tenses. For the purposes of our videos, I'll be saying that they come in three tenses. But I'll also establish with you that grammarians often see just two tenses, past and present. They often don't accept that the future tense is a third main tense. For us, it's critical that we also understand that the future tense is also an important tense to consider. So what do I even mean? Let's look at this grid together. What I'd like you to do is look at each column. It's labelled with three different verbs of past, present and future. But I'd like you to decide what's the difference between past, present and future. Hit pause if you need thinking time. But what you should be thinking of doing is noting down one word that summarises what past means, present and future. So, how did you get on? When we say something is in the past tense, we mean it has happened. I talked. You wrote. She read. That has happened. When something is in the present tense, it is ongoing. That means it will continue to keep happening. I talk. We talk. She writes. He reads. These are things that everyday occurrences expect to happen. In the future tense, we're considering that something will happen. It has not happened yet. You will talk. She will write. They will read. Now it's your turn. With each of the five sentences, I'd like you to identify the verb in the sentence and also what tense it is in. Hit pause if you need thinking time. So, how did you get on? We run home every day. Sounds very healthy. We run. That's an ongoing action because it happens every day. So this must be in the present tense. She will survive this trauma. She will survive. This is in the future tense. It's believed that in the future, she will overcome whatever struggle it is. It hasn't happened yet. I left the cinema early. I left. It has happened, so it must be in the past tense. They sing like angels. They sing. That is in the present tense. It suggests that I could hear them sing any time and they would sound great. They sing. It's ongoing. And finally, these are quite stern words here. You will regret this if you quit. You will regret this. That suggests that if in the future this person gives up, they will feel sad about it. So the two things to remember about a tense is it shows you when the action of a verb is happening. And that whilst grammarians may debate it, the most popular modern usage suggests there are three major tenses, past, present and future. They are critical to how we unpick what is being said and it also explains to us the effects of what has been said. Why not subscribe to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar for all things English, literary and grammatical?